Hello, my name is Chris Graves and I run two publishing companies, one named Monolith Editions, which is pretty new as of last year. That's dedicated to people of color in all artistic disciplines. And I also run a publication company named Chris Graves Projects and that's a photography based program. Um, I don't have a studio so I'm just going to show you around my apartment today because that's where I do all the work. Um, I haven't had a studio in many years. I mean, we have this apartment here which is really lovely and two bedrooms so that makes it a little bit easier for my wife and I or me to keep the living room <laughs> during the daytime pretty much and just uh, make it work for make it work for myself as a studio so I'll show you around and um, yeah yeah let's do that okay so we have pretty much my living room here New York City outside step backwards and like see oh I don't have my record light on let's put that on first okay first you need music always 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 so we start everything with some music here and then we have our printer going here for like a little print that I'm making for friends we have some things for mailing out I mean god this living room is so small um, we also have some more prints that I'm making for a friend of mine who is putting some stuff in his new house um, this is Michael Strahan. I don't know if you guys know who that is. The best friends of a publisher is that tape measure and that, that tape. Um, we have a bunch of stuff around here actually. A lot of prints. Two from my uh, professor and friend Jed Devine. One here and one there. It's a Nathan Vincent crocheted gun. We have a, a bunch of work. But um, we also have a print of my friend Jason's here. Jason Hanasek. And a bunch of our lost books here as well as a ton of research photography books from the years past. I was collecting a lot at some point. I collect way less now because my storage space is filled with my own books or, you know, the books that we make with, with our peoples. So yeah, this is pretty much what the living room looks like from back here at this end. And yeah, this is where I sit working on photographs and stock trading <laughs> and listening to a bunch of music. So what we'll do now is just show you some new stuff that we have coming out. And yeah, it's good. And here are some of our new books for this year. So, oh, well, last year we produced a bunch of books. We started a new publishing company and we published a book by Giancarlo Montes Santangelo named Improvising Sightlines. And this book you know, you can check out more pictures online, but I won't go through it here because, you know, you can see pictures online better than you can see them in this little format. But yeah, I mean, Jesus, look at that cover and that back. Oh my God, so good. We have a book by um, Hannah Altman named Kavana, which is also very cool. I mean, we're, we're lucky enough to have some really brilliant uh, artists that we work with on the presses. So I'm very happy for being able to work through the COVID and, you know, make something happen out of it. We also have a book by Lauren... Lauren Noel Oliver, uh, named Temple of the Self. It's like portraits, self-portraits, really nice, sexy little book. And all the those books are pretty, you know, all of our books are pretty inexpensive. We try to keep them in, as inexpensive as possible. We made this book named Remember the South with Frank Francis, and it's still lifes and, well, a bunch of different cool things. Like this is all Kool-Aid that he swirls around into things that look like this, as well as we have some... We have our written section by Diana McClure. We have these still lifes, a bunch of cool things, more, more kind of amalgamations of Kool-Aid and paper cutouts. A bunch of stuff in this book, really cool. You should check them all out. We have a book by Rochelle Mosman Solano named Colonial Echo, which um, we're ha really happy about. Oh, still got signed copies, did not know that. Very cool. And yeah, we use these two different papers in this book, so you, it bounces back in between this kind of warm tone paper for the text and small archival images, as well as the images she's made with her, well, her and her mother. And her mother, mother, mother. Yeah, so this is awesome. And now today I was I had all this set up out so I could photograph our new book. Our newest book just came in the mail this morning named Electronic Landscapes, and it's pretty much the music scene of Detroit, the, the techno scene that Detroit started. Uh, the photographers are Isaac Diggs and Edward Hillel. So, yeah, this is our newest book. Um, it's n it's about to be available. So if you want to see more of this cool ass project, uh, please, please visit our website or, you know, anything you want. Anyhow, that's enough for now. It's a little teaser. Um, thank you very much for uh, 
listening for however long this was and buy a bunch of books. We, we love this. We know like not only me, but I know that all the publishers really need the support these days. So it's a thank you very much for listening. Have a nice day. Bye.